Okay, so, you know, the vacation vibes do not stop. And, you know, sometimes, like, you're not going to be able to get anything done, but something is better than nothing. So it's not that, you know, you don't have to vacation or have fun or anything like that. No, it's a lifestyle. But you can focus on what matters, um, you know, in the situation. Like, if you can't get the workout done, maybe you can hit 10,000 steps. If you can't hit 10,000 steps, maybe you can hit a gallon of water, you know. Fitting something in versus not getting anything done. And that's that goes for vacation. I mean, during COVID, we saw it, you know. Everybody stopped working out. They stayed home and they gained 15 pounds. You know, Monday was still leg day. Tuesday was still back day. But those that took that mentality kept the weight off those that didn't have the same mentality packed on an uncomfortable amount of weight and might still be holding that weight but um work is the same thing you know finding those 30 minute gaps if it's break i mean you can go ahead and start uh running a mile or running two miles if you don't have any bio bionic knees or anything like that or um just focusing on the nutrition aspect you have to think about what is within your control not with what is uh, out of your control you know focus on one thing make that consistent and then engrave the others like I was talking to Gordon today uh, one of the guys that I train on Saturday about you know I do the same thing every single morning and it's not the best thing in the world but it's not the worst thing either and it's just I built consistency with it and that is my 12 ounces of water now, does the water change sometimes? It might be my greens, it might be my fat burner, but it's still 12 ounces of water, so you start with a win. And then I do my coffee right after. So, I mean, that was one of those patterns that like when you have it in the bag, then you can build on it. But if you're trying to make all these habits at the same time, like, oh, I gotta drink this water, oh, I gotta get to the gym, oh, I gotta, you know, hit my abs too. Why didn't anything get done? You know, you're gonna put yourself in a paranoid, uh, panicking mode all the time. I've done it. And it's just like, focus on one thing. Okay, it's water for this week. That's all I'm gonna focus on. And then once that's down, okay, multivitamin. Get it down. Make it easy on yourself. Now, cheat meals, keep them as controlled as possible. Try to track them. Um, you don't have to track on vacation if you don't want to, but you can. I mean, it doesn't matter, you know. I am always watching the logs, and I'm always watching because I'm not watching for judgment. I'm looking for improvement. So, you know, your food logs don't have to be pretty. You know, they can have chocolate in them. They can have pizza in them. They can have donuts. They can have uh, bacon, whatever it is. But, you know, if this week we had bacon and next week we have bacon and three weeks go by and we have bacon, you know, if I tell you, hey, have turkey bacon, have turkey bacon, and the fourth week we have turkey bacon instead, that's still progress. So I'm seeing that you're progressing. And that's what we want to look for is little changes that add up to a lot of things. So like right here, I have my cheat meal. I'll share it with you guys. I got a straight up 93% lean burger. And then sweet potato fries that are really low in everything. I mean, it's like 80 calories there. Uh, arugula and some thin flatbreads. Does your cheat meal have to be this clean? No. But, I mean, I'm only doing like 600 calories there with 43 grams of protein. And I'll probably have another one um, just to pack it in. I didn't have my second meal. So, this will be meal two and four. So plugging two two meals together but i hope these videos help you and yeah we'll keep we'll keep rolling with them